if you've done nothing for God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. It's time. I want you to go home. I want you to search your heart out. And I want you to see if you are worthy of healing from God. Are you worthy? Are you worthy? No, you ain't worthy. You never will be. But because of mercy and grace, God yes. is. You want peace in your heart? To do something about peace. Let peace rule in your, in your heart. <laughs> let the peace of God listen the Bible said let the word of God dwell in us richly richly not poorly praise the Lord I went into a service station and I handed uh, of course I always run the pumps over a penny Mm -hmm. And I was looking, reaching down my pocket to get a penny out of it. That abuse it. That's all I got. And I just dropped one. But how did we, I reached down? I went down to my pocket looking for a penny. She said, you, you, you owe one more penny. I said, I know what I said. I said, I'm very, I'm very familiar with penny. I said, I'm a Pentecostal preacher. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, I want to tell you all something. I want you all to hear me. You want God to do something in your life? <coughs> to do something in His life. That's right. Hallelujah. You try <coughs> surrendering everything you got to Him instead of holding on. Hallelujah. <coughs> holding on. I mean, I'm going to be expect. I'm going to be expecting, Sister Ruby. I'm going to expect God to begin to work. Do things like Sister Evelyn told me about. Praise the Lord. This is not the first time that this has happened. Hallelujah. This has happened at different times with <coughs> reports of these things happening. Hallelujah. God making them whole for the power. Praise God. Are you ready to surrender all to the Lord? Or do you want to hold on? Brother Walls, you know, I, I, I'm too pretty to be healed, then don't you get healed. Because it might make you ugly. You may have to mess your face up a little bit, shouting and crying. <coughs> God heals you. Praise the Lord. <laughs> oh, old black brother of mine, friend of mine back, he's dead, gone. Old brother Monroe was his name in the pastor of the Church of God there in Alton, Church of God in Christ there in Alton. I used to preach for him about every week. He'd call me. Oh, every, every, on Tuesday night, he'd call me, uh, Reverend, I want you to preach for me on Thursday night, or Friday night, it was Friday night. I want you to be there and preach for me on Friday night. Well, uh, uh, them people never know when to go home. How do you, I went out at 3 o'clock in the morning, people still be coming to church. Praise the Lord. We had services back then. We had church. Praise the Lord. But the first thing he'd say when he got up and took the service, he'd say, everybody get angry here tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. I didn't have any problem with that part of it. But anyway, <laughs> hallelujah. Listen to what I'm saying. We need to get ugly for the Lord. We need to do a little squalling and a little yeah. praying, a little yeah. shower, a little getting done. Hallelujah. Uh, getting our hair uh, mixed up a little bit. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Oh, not me, brother. Oh, not me. You may not be the one who gets that healing. God's real. Yes, he God's is. mighty. Yes, he God's is. powerful. Yes, he is. Brother William Branham was in a wreck. Over there, going across from Louisville. <coughs> to, uh, uh, I can't think of the name there. Name there across the, from in Indiana. Jeffersonville. Uh, Jeffersonville. Uh, uh, New Orleans, Indiana. He was, they, they had a wreck right there on the uh, bridge. And a uh, car hit him, a truck hit him. Him and his wife was laying out on, on the uh, uh, on the grab, a bridge there. And, and he was all cut up and, and uh, knocked. Uh, you no know, bones broke and everything else. And hallelujah. And she was 
laying there and they covered her up. Hallelujah. I said, she's gone. Brother Branham said, drag me over there to her. Hallelujah. They drove him over there and he reached out and got her hand and she stood to her feet laid hold. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank so, you, Lord. Lord, them things don't happen. Don't tell me your don't tell me your God's little enough. He won't do that. I'm talking about a big God. Amen. I'm talking about one that stands taller than the earth. Yes. I'm talking about one, hallelujah, that took the stars and slung them into, yes. into the sky. I'm talking about one, hallelujah, that put the moon out there and the yes. sun out yes. there yes. and just keeps them floating around yes. and around and around every day. Yes. Hallelujah. Come by and give your life. Yes. God, go out where you can sleep and come back the next morning. Praise <laughs> God. Thousands of miles an hour. Uh, they're spinning and then we say God can't do that I want you to know something the God that I am serving is almighty yes. and he yes. can do anything yes. hallelujah anything yes. he keeps yes. the air going yes. hallelujah <coughs> thank you Lord. To be made whole thank you Lord will you argue with God about it thank you Lord thank you Jesus hallelujah Will you be like Mike Walls one time was? When I, he said, I went by the church and he was sitting there studying. I stopped in and just talked to him a minute. He's my cousin. We were sitting there. He said, there's one thing I don't believe in, Lord, that y'all do. I don't believe in divine healing. Sure, that's all right. You won't have to worry about getting healed. Praise the Lord. That night he called me back. He said, I want to apologize to you. Okay. I want to apologize to you. He said, I went out today after I talked to you and I told you I didn't believe in healing. I went to Carroll City and I met a girl over there that I went to school with that was had epilepsy. And she was had seizures every day all day. And I said to her, uh, I called her my name and said, do you still have seizures? No, I've not had a seizure since 1948. Hallelujah. I said, you have? He said, no. I said, you know that cousin of yours? Yeah, hallelujah. That woman was. Yes. He prayed for me and God healed me. And I ain't had a nun since 1948. It was my last yes. one. Praise the Lord. You know what happened? God moved her out of that old body yes. and put her Thank into a new one. Let's Lord. let God do some moving in his yes. church. Yes. And let's let him move Amen. on some Thank of these bodies. And let's let him take Lord. over some of these. Yes. I'm going to tell you all something. You may think, well, Sister Hallelujah, Sister Christine is an elderly lady. Hallelujah. But let me tell you all something. God can come to her. Hallelujah. Yes. You heard of the fire God. I want yes. y'all to know yes. something. Yes. Whenever Sarah, hallelujah, when she was 90 years old, praise God, God came to Abraham and said, she's going to have a young one. Abraham was a <laughs> Uh, I can my baby <laughs> Listen to me. I'm talking about, I'm not talking about what might happen. I'm talking about what God can do. Brother Alton, you're going to bring your baby brother to church. <laughs> see, what I'm, see what I'm saying? God can do anything. Oh, yeah. yes. I've fought back problems. Serious back problems. <coughs> I take the, the medicine. My back kept hurting. Hallelujah. I couldn't sit down in the chair. Couldn't sit down anywhere. Couldn't sit down in the doctor's office. Couldn't sit down anywhere in the car. And anything else but I went to sleep. Hallelujah. Three days ago, I said, I'm not taking no more medicine. God's got to heal me and take care of me. Hallelujah. I ain't had a pain, has it been three or four days? 